Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to create palette positions within AutoCAD and this is going to be a very beginner practical lesson for people who don't know how to do this. So if you are in an industry where you have to be in a warehouse or a manufacturing facility, chances are you have palettes and chances are you are going to need to lay out positions um, for these pallets within the warehouse or manufacturing center. So in this video, I'm just going to kind of show you how this process is done and kind of just show you how I do it myself. So with that being said, let's get into the video and get started. Real quick, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you think anyone else could use this video or find it helpful, give it a share. And if you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comment section below. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started here in this very basic lesson. And the first thing I'm going to go over is the size or the standard size of a pallet. So the standard dimension and size is going to be 48 inches long by 40 inches wide. This is going to be your standard in most industries. And unless you have something um, custom or specific that you need a different pallet for, you are going to be using that standard size. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the line button. And we're actually going to come down 48 inches. We're going to make this pallet. 48 inches long, again, by 40 inches wide, 40 inches wide. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to continue on and close that pallet out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create the, an X in the middle of the pallet. Now, the reason why I like doing this is it signifies that this is a pallet and not a location for something else. So if you're giving this drawing to someone that doesn't really read CAD too much or doesn't know what things are, you can label this as a pallet location put an X in the middle for a pallet space. This is how I like to do it. There's different ways to do it, but this is how I do it. The next thing we're going to do is actually create a block out of this pallet. So we're going to come up here to create. We're going to name this pallet and we're going to click OK. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to specify the insertion point, which is right here. Select the object, click enter. And when you come up to insert block, you now have a pallet location that you can insert. I highly recommend doing this. That way, instead of redrawing the 48 inches by 40 inches, you can just come up to the pallet block, click the button, and there you go. You have another pallet location. Now, sometimes you want to put pallets next to each other, and this also creates a little bit of a snag if, because the pallets are so wide and kind of indifferent. You might have issues if you put them right next to each other. So you need to remember that you need to have a little bit of space between those pallets that way you can move them in and out of the location. Most of the time I use two inches, but a lot of the time I think four inches is a little bit more solid. It gives you a little bit more room. If you're really looking to maximize space, you'll use two inches, but I use four inches. And what you're gonna do here is you just create a line. You measure off four inches. And then you come up to your block. And as you can see here, it's got me on that corner already. And there we go. Now I'm going to take this four inches again. We are going to copy it. I'm going to bring it back over. And then I'm going to insert another block palette. And as you can see here, now I have multiple palettes that are next to each other. I can come back in here, delete those lines. And as you can see, I have three palettes. Now, sometimes with palette positions, you also want locations attached to them. And the way I'm going to do this is I just come up to the text box. I come up to single line. We're going to hit the single line button. I type in P01 for the first palette location. Click escape. It's rotated. We'll re-rotate that. I will move it over just a little bit to center it. And there you go. You have P01. Now I can take this. I can copy it. I can move it over here, over here. And then I can actually say we want P02 and then P03. So when you create the block as a palette, you can then pull the palette position in and then you can create the actual palette location name. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Again, more of a basic and beginner lesson. This is just for people getting into the industry and just kind of trying to get a baseline understanding of how to create a palette location. I also want to say thank you so much for all the support throughout the channel. It means the world to me. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give the video a like down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.